So I have found the fastest way to recreate the Apple Glass UI inside After Effects. However, this Glass UI is little complex to make inside After Effects, but after watching this tutorial, I can ensure that you can recreate this animation in less than 2 minutes. So we are going to start our animation by creating the composition. I'm using this abstract layer background, you can use whatever background you like. The first step in creating our Glass UI is making a shape layer. After making the shape layer, I'm going to make a rectangle. You can choose whatever fill you like because we are going to convert the shape layer into an effect by clicking this icon right here. Now it's time to create the glass UI. The first effect we are going to use is hue and saturation. Make the saturation 16 and lightness around 8. The second effect I'm going to use is called Gaussian blur. I'm going to go around 30% blur. For the second effect, we are going to use some noise. I would recommend don't go super high and use around 7-8% to noise inside your shape layer. After adding the noise, the next effect we are going to use is called transform. Inside the transform panel, increase the scale to around 117 and leave everything as it is. Now we are going to duplicate the shape layer. After duplicating the shape layer, change it back to the shape layer from the effects layer and remove all the effects we have used in the previous layer. Now right click on the layer, go to the layer style and we are going to add inner glow. Inside the inner glow, we are going to change the blend mode from screen to normal and you can use the inner glow as much as you like. After adding the inner glow, select the previous layer and the last effect we are going to use is called displacement map. Add the displacement map to your layer. Inside the displacement map layer, change the shape 1 to the newly duplicated shape layer. And then change the source to effects and mask. For the use of horizontal displacement, we are going to change it from red to luminance. And as for green, we are going to also change it to luminance. For the horizontal displacement, I am going to go around 67 and for the vertical displacement, I am going to go with the 95. If you want to control the refraction of your glass UI, you can go back to the duplicated shape layer. Inside the shape layer, you can increase or decrease the size of the inner glow to change the refraction as per your preferences. After that, just to finalize everything, I'm going to duplicate the shape layer for once more. After duplicating the shape layer, I'm going to hide the fill. And after that, I'm going to add a stroke for about 1 pixel. I don't want the stroke to be more prominent, so I'm going to reduce the opacity to around 34%. To easily animate our UI text holder, I'm going to create a null object and then I'm going to name it Glass. After that, you can link every layer to that null object so you could easily animate your shape layer. Now you can add any text you like. You can also link the text layer to the null object. That's how basically how you could create the Apple Glass UI animation inside After Effects. If you want to see how you could create such effect inside Photoshop and I will create the next video about it. So make sure to hit like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.